Well, here in sunny Southern California, it's finally rainy and cold, so we're making a big pot of homemade chicken noodle soup. My parents are out. We've got two days before Ava Drew gets here, and so we just thought a big pot of soup on a cold, rainy day was perfect. So, what I've done is um, I've got, obviously, a very large pot. I put five boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, if you want to do, you can do bone-in chicken, you could do a whole chicken, um, and then you can see I've fold the, uh, filled the pot a little above halfway. I took half of an onion, I did not chop it up, I peeled it, and then just dropped it in there. That's this, and you can see it's cooking good. This has salt and pepper, about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, about two chicken bouillon cubes, or if you have the granules, I would say... Uh, about a tablespoon and a half. And then I did two garlic cloves, chopped mint stuff. So I did about the zest of half of a lemon. If you don't have a fresh lemon, you could do uh, about, I don't know, a teaspoon of lemon pepper. That would work too. Um, and I've done that before when I didn't have a lemon, and it turns out just as good. So basically, you just uh, and uh, bring it to a bowl. We're going to put the lid on it, and then let it cook. If you have boneless chicken, like I do, it will probably cook in about 40, 45 minutes. If you use bone-in chicken or a whole chicken, it will probably have to cook for about an hour or maybe a little more until your chicken is really tender falling off the bone. Okay, we're about to add our vegetables to our soup. Our chicken has cooked for about 45 minutes. One thing I forgot to tell you that's very important is I put two bay leaves in. And if anyone hasn't used them, I was just going to show you. But I buy these and then just keep them in a Ziploc bag. And you always have them. So two of those and while it's cooking. Um, it fin the chicken was tender, so I took everything out, the onion, the bay leaves, and the chicken. And the onion and the bay leaves I'll throw away. The if you really like the onion, you can chop it up and keep it in there, but I just throw mine away. It's just for flavor. And then the chicken I'll chop up and add back towards the end. So what I want to show you now is um, we're going to do about a cup of celery and a cup of carrots. So a little trick I was going to show you, of course you peel your carrots, and I was going to show you after you cut the ends off. This is just a little, you don't have to do this, but it's a tip. I like to cut mine at an angle like this, and it just looks prettier in the soup. It's just prettier on an angle like that. And then... So you've got about a cup of carrots, but first we're going to add our cup of celery. And another trick I was going to show with the celery, don't be afraid of this. This stuff tastes really good, this part of the celery. So just make sure you wipe it. I always take a damp paper towel and just wipe my celery off good. Make sure the tops are clean. And then you're going to just cut the very end off. And then what I like to do with my celery, because I don't, sometimes it can get stringy, is take a vegetable peeler and then just peel the outside of your celery and you get rid of any of that stringy stuff. See, that's all the stringy stuff. And then what I like to do is cut down the center like that and then just chop up your celery. Like that. So we'll add that to the rest. And then we're going to pour this in our boiling water. This is your cup of celery. And you're going to let that cook for about 8 to 10 minutes until your celery starts to get tender. And then we'll add the carrots and let that cook for about another 5 to 8 minutes. And then we'll check back in. The celery and the carrots are both done. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to add 2 cups of, these are wide egg noodles. And you just cook those as long as the package says for those noodles. I definitely do not like overcooked pasta, so I'll probably cook mine for about five or six minutes. Okay, our pasta is done, so now we're going to, uh, I've got my temperature on about a medium. I'm going to add our chicken back in that I've just cut up. And then we're going to add in about a fourth of a cup of fresh chopped parsley. And this may sound strange, but it's so good. Um, about a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup of fresh 
Parmesan cheese. If you like a little bit stronger, oh, if you add a little bit stronger, like a little bit stronger flavor, go more towards the half a cup. If you like a little bit less, then do more of a fourth of a cup. You just, I would start with a fourth of a cup, taste it, and see what you think. You can always add more. It's cheese and it's hot soup, so it's going to melt. I'm also going to add in about a fourth of a cup of white wine. And then I'm going to add about three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream. And at this point, you don't really want it to boil. You just want to heat it through for about a minute and then turn your burner off. And that's it. That's your chicken noodle soup. It is so good. My kids love it. Um, and then I like to serve it along with some fresh, hot, crusty bread.